Okay, but we do not want that. We want it to. We want the evasion to appear as if the projectile goes through the character. Okay, so we need to change that. So first of off, first off, we need to disable collision between an enemy's attack and the player. Okay, to do so, we go to the Projects Physics 2D settings and we. Okay, I hope that you can see the player slash enemy attack and we uncheck that. Okay, player there, ground star. Okay, so now that we have unchecked that, now when we play the game, the enemy's attack will go through the player, as if you are a hologram. Nice. Okay, glad to hear that you have the locking interface all set up. Okay, so if now that I have unchecked the collision between the enemy attack and the player, okay, the Enemy projectile will go through the player as if. Wait, don't run away! Come on, attack me! Yes, okay. So it goes through the player. As the player now doesn't collide with the enemy's attack. So to So now we are changing how the enemy attacks will collide with the player. So instead of using the physics to the coll collision we will for every enemy's attack or projectile okay we will check if it is overlapping the player's sprite which is what i did for the player's attack I okay, I hundred percent can agree with that. In fact, you should 
It might be my personal opinion, but you should always start with the user interface first. Because any small, even a small amount of change in the user interface can greatly affect the back end. So for the enemy's attack Okay, since we have the player's reference Or rather we have the reference to the player We can straight away say that if Okay, we can straight away say that if the player is within this enemy's attack boundaries It's not game over yet. Okay, basically what we did below in the collision code. And you can just copy and paste all of this to here. So now instead of using the game's physics engine to detect the collision between the enemy's attack and the player, we will constantly check if an enemy attack is within the player's sprite boundaries. Oh wait. Give me a second. Okay, so if this enemy attacks me, my health should decrease by 1. Okay. So as you can see, my health decreased by 1. Okay, but if I enable evasion. Okay, let's see what, happen what happens if I enable evasion. If I enable evasion, the projectile should go through the character though. Okay, so let's do that. If take damage, okay, so we should only destroy the projectile if the character takes damage.
Okay, so for testing purposes, now we have the evasion turned on. So any attack by or any any projectiles by the enemy should go through the character as if the character doesn't exist or rather as if the character isn't okay as you can see the projectile went through the character okay so that is accidental reflexes okay watch what happens when i change or when i disable evasion okay now my character can take damage again okay so that wraps up for drink up and accidental reflexes And that should be it for today, today's stream session. So to do a small recap, okay, today we created the placeholder images for drink up and accidental reflexes and we added them to the game. So now if you choose to learn them when you level up, you will be able to have a chance to evade enemies attack and regain your health for every attack you do so the next stream session will be this thursday or this friday depending on your time zone And that's about it, so I will see you then, and I hope you have a great day ahead, Princess Rika. And I'm looking forward to playing your hacking game. So have a great day ahead, and cheers.